So here we're going to show some progressions of what we call the shin box movement. So to start, the starting position is going to be just like I'm sitting. So we want one of our legs bent out in front of us. So we're in external rotation on this right side. And then on this left side, we're internally rotated. That foot is kind of to our side. So our, our shins should kind of make a, a box shape. So the first part, we're going to do three stretches. So a three-way stretch on each side. So the first one is we're going to reach over this leg that's in front and try and twist as far as we can. One big deep breath in and out. And then walk it up. Next, we're going to go straight out in front over this front leg. Big breath in. Big exhale. Walk it up. The other way, we're going to be trying to just kind of reach. You can grab your leg if you want and try and sink into this left hip. Okay, so you should feel a stretch right on the side of this hip. So we're working that internal rotation piece. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Okay, keep my feet on the ground, switch. We're right back to the other side, same position. Then we'll do a three-way reach. Up to the left, straight ahead. Big exhale, and then back to this side I'm trying to sink my glute on this side onto the mat and turn this way so that is the first step of the progression the next one is we're gonna do we're gonna just work on the control of moving side to side and that rotation of our hips and we're just gonna be doing some switches so the easiest variation of this is to put your hands behind you kind of give yourself a little bit more support Move nice and slow so my feet stay on the floor and I just kind of rotate my legs and my knees to the other side. Okay, so I'm feeling a stretch here, this position, and then nice and slow and controlled back here. The second and a little bit more challenging step to that once you once you kind of get the movement is to do it without hands, without any support of your hands. So I'm gonna put my hands out in front, try and sit up nice and tall. Open up this side, okay, then the other side comes with, and now I'm back into the other position, nice and slow and controlled, and come back to the middle. The third progression, now we start, to, we can add some hinging, some hinging, some more movement to this, a little more challenge. Eventually we're going to go all the way up. Okay, so we're going to lean forward, keep our back nice and flat, come up onto our knees, and I'm squeezing my, glute, my glutes, my butt muscles. I feel a good stretch here in my groin. I'm standing up nice and tall. And then I sit back, hinge, stick my butt out, hinge nice and slow back to the floor. And then we'll do the switch here. Hinge forward, come up, squeeze the glutes, pause for a second, sit back. And then we'll keep doing that for repetitions on each side. So the last one, well, there's a, we can do two more. Okay, so we'll do the, the extension, the hip extension to our knees, and then we're going to bring this leg up and around to a half kneeling position. And then we come back, we go nice and slow. We're looking for control. Pause at each step, hinge back. Then I'll do my switch. Hips up, bring this leg around, half kneeling, feel a stretch on the hip flexor. Nice and slow and controlled, get that knee back around, go back, flip back over, do that for some reps. The last one is we're going to go all the way up, so this shin box get up, okay, so we're going to hinge, come forward, rotate half kneeling, and then you can stand it up, reverse lunge back to that half kneeling, okay, nice and controlled, back, down, rotate, up, squeeze the glutes, half kneeling, stand it up, step back, nice and slow and controlled, back down, and there. So we want to start with the easiest progression first, and then as you practice that in your daily routine, it gets a little bit harder every week or two until you're doing the whole shin box get up.